Welcome to the hip-hop world, where the mere mention of DMX struck fear into fellow rappers. Imagine driving, radio on, and suddenly DMX challenges someone raw and unfiltered. In an interview, Fredro Starr reveals DMX's unpredictability, recalling moments of unintentional punches. On stage, DMX's raw power left audiences in awe. This brief exploration into why rappers feared DMX delves into the enigma that made him a formidable force in the hip-hop community. So, there's this guy named Hai Maka who, when he was a teenager, had a funny encounter with DMX. He met a girl at a Canadian nightclub, took her to his hotel room, but things got weird because DMX was staying nearby. DMX unexpectedly opened the door, claimed the girl forgot her purse, and things got awkward. Later on, there was some drama between DMX and another guy named Corrupt. Corrupt heard a rumor that DMX was getting cozy with his girlfriend, Foxy Brown. This led to a diss track called Calling Out Names, where Corrupt accused DMX of trying to mess with his girl. Foxy Brown denied it, blaming Eve for spreading the rumor, causing a beef between Foxy Brown and Eve. DMX responded to all of this in his track, Party Up. Anyway, life can get crazy, and sometimes playing games like Raid Shadow Legends can be a good distraction. Check out the Blue Horn Beast tour rehigh in the game. He's pretty cool. And if you want effective attacks, pay attention to George the Breaker. Big news for gamers, Raid Shadow Legends and Monster Hunter are teaming up, letting players collect legendary champions inspired by Monster Hunter monsters. Sign up now to grab the Rat Halo's Blade Master Champion free by logging in for 7 days before March 5th. Now, diving back into DMX's wild stories, famed for sharp humor, he teased rappers like Rick Ross for thematic excess. DMX's intimidating aura wasn't just show, he once chased Maze on a scooter in Miami. Disliking Drake, DMX spared no criticism, from voice to walk and haircut, revealing his unfiltered take on fellow artists. After a tense period, DMX and Drake's conflict eased with a conversation putting an end to DMX's negative comments. If DMX were alive today, he might disapprove of Drake's current situation. Known for loving dogs, DMX once said, I like dogs more than people because a dog doesn't know how to lie to you. In a wild incident, DMX and his dog robbed a reporter, making him strip down. This showcases DMX's unique character and deep bond with his four-legged companions. Another eccentric tale involves DMX robbing a guy at a gas station, snatching his chain. In a crowd chanting, stop, shut him down, DMX's wild antics included tricking Ja Rule into a ride in a stolen car, leading to a police encounter and a confiscated vehicle. The rift started when DMX accused Ja Rule of changing, with a friendly gesture unreciprocated, resulting in a diss track. The conflict simmered down, ending with a surprising fan-assisted encounter that left Ja Rule flattered. Cardi B would be taken aback by this unexpected twist. However, he later responded, saying they could settle it on the streets or through music, claiming everyone wants to see conflicts like those involving Tupac and DMX. Ja Rule was ready to take it to the streets or the mic, and he invited people to express their opinions. In a risky Chicago encounter, DMX, backed by the Latin Kings, confronted Ja Rule at the airport, emphasizing Ja Rule's debt to him. Tensions eased in 2005 when Avgadi ended the feud during DMX's prison stint. Former Friends and Murder Incorporated, DMX and Ja Rule's relationship soured in 2001 due to Jay-Z's critique of DMX's lyrics and his role at Def Jam. DMX expressed frustration in a Vibe interview, also criticizing Jay-Z's choices like wearing flip-flops. Surprisingly, when DMX wanted to leave Def Jam, Jay-Z released him without financial obligations, sparing DMX from a $12 million repayment. In 2016, a picture surfaced online with DMX, Jay-Z, and Ja Rule, signaling the end of their conflicts. DMX, known for his competitiveness, expressed a desire to battle Jay-Z in the final year of his life. Despite the epic stories, DMX's tracks, like Give Me a Show and Show Me What I Got, reveal the pain behind the artist. Despite his troubled life, hip-hop fans appreciate DMX for his honesty and sincerity, remembering him as a genuinely good person with a challenging fate. In a heartfelt moment, DMX once sat in this very spot. May he rest in peace. During our conversation, DMX revealed a change in his approach, saying, I don't diss people anymore. When asked why, he shared a powerful perspective, stating, because for every one rapper, 16 families can be saved. If you're interested in more music industry insights, check out our next video on the downfall of Bad Boy Records.
Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.